Welcome back to my Let's Play for Pokemon Silver and my model flying run. I suppose it's time to reach the top of Glitter Lighthouse in order to find out about Amphi, the sick Pokemon. Yeah, that's gonna be it for this episode. We're just climbing a lighthouse. Um, probably gonna be a pretty battle-heavy episode, though, let's face it, this place is filled with trainers that want to knock our block off. Because reasons, I guess. Um, I guess you can argue it's more of a training episode than anything else. Well, let's see what you got. Ah, uh, yes, Noctile. Well, this is probably gonna be a one-sided affair, because I imagine I'm gonna get dropped in, like, two, three hits tops. <laughs> but I suppose we can hope we get lucky and land some freeze attacks here. Seriously, Growl? Why on earth are you using Growl attack? Just peck me already! Darn. This guy does not know how to use his Noctile at all, man. Like, you should have just went for peck. I mean, I had no response to being pecked here. I don't have Reflect yet, and I can't learn it for another two levels. <sighs> Jeez, Alfred. I hope you don't do that bad of a job when you serve Batman. Or you'd be fired. I suppose I'm somewhat spoiling for a good fight, too. Too bad you can't deliver on it. <sighs> okay, Huey. Let's do this. Sally, it's not Huey Lewis in the news. That might actually be interesting. Instead, Sailor Huey. <laughs> Wonder if he's got any relatives named Dewey. Or Scrooge McDuck. Oh, a Polyworld, huh? Eh, still probably gonna go down real fast. After all, I got plenty of thunder punches left. Yes, sirree, I do. Bubbles? You're gonna try and take me out with some stinking bubbles? Come on. It's like you're using bubbles from the Powerpuff Girls or something. That would actually be intimidating. Bubbles is scary when she gets mad, man. Like, you wouldn't believe it. Like, unbelievably scary. Just ask Mojo Jojo. She, like, tore him apart in her rage. She beat him so bad, no one would even recognize him. That bad, man. I remember you. I hate you. Seriously. It's true, Theo the Bird Keeper. <sighs> I'll forever, forever remember having to take down all of his Pidgeys using Curse, man. So seriously, screw his bird Pokemon. <laughs> Gotta get our revenge now. Yeah, thunder and ice punches all around. For all of them. Maybe they'll get lucky and land a blow with a quick attack, but I'm gonna drop them all. Probably in one to two hits. And I'm gonna keep punching them until they all fall, though. Got a score to settle. I got beef. Lots of it, too. <sighs> it's like one of the most memorable fights in that entire run, just because of how tedious it was. <sighs> Man, I was expecting Pidgey to be able to take out. That one's at least take one hit. And still stand strong. And come on. Is Pidgey's special defense really that bad? I guess it is, considering they keep falling left, right, and center. <sighs> Dude, unless you're gonna use a Pidgeotto or something, I'm just not that impressed right now. And that takes care of the last Pidgey, alright. Well, time to move on. <sighs> That was my revenge, Theo. I hope you'd like it. Now back to our main quest. Climbing this lighthouse. Oh yeah, this guy's got a Growlithe, doesn't he? I'm probably gonna wish I had switched off for this one. I may have to change up who's up front. Yeah, I thought so. Um... 
let's get you out of the line of fire and bring in Pidge. And yeah, I still haven't leveled up Bat the Bit yet. But I figured it's something I could work on later. I just wanted to get something recorded at the moment, so it's like I'll go with Silver because it's got the least amount of grinding really needs um, doing at the moment. Unlike Crystal, which needs a ton of it. Or Gold, which also can use quite a bit. <sighs> well, good, it missed. I'm gonna finish you off. Quick attack. Okay, what are you gonna follow that up with? Another Growlithe? I think he uses two of them. Yeah, yeah, he does. <sighs> Not looking forward to this. Well, I'll try to tear him a new backside with our gust attack. Tarn, he hit this time. Well, at least we get burned for a change. That's a plus. <sighs> I've been burned so many times while doing this stuff, it just gets old, man. Yeah, you really do need to train some more. I don't want to go up higher, I just want to go to the top. You know what, we'll just go for the top. Yeah, I know who she is. And I'm definitely going to get in your way, because only a skill trainer should be allowed to talk to a gym leader. And quite frankly, County, you're a joke. Your Meryl's got nothing on my Lady of Doom. Go Thunder Punch! It's the Electric Fist of Justice! If you really wanted to surprise me, you could have pulled out Rollout. Well, maybe this Meryl doesn't know Rollout. And I'm not willing to stick around long enough to find out. Just better off killing it really quick, you know? Yeah, it never really stood a chance against my Pokémon. Sad to say. Well, I don't know about the strong part. I'm not even sure about the kind part, considering you know, the whole swear like a sailor thing. Oh, a polywhirl? Well, this ain't really a threat. Yep. Time for thunder punches. Oh no! Tiny little bubbles! That'll do next to no damage! So scary! It's terrifying! Like, if it's any more scary, I might have wet myself! Ugh. Come on! They're just bubbles. Like, you think you'd know a better move, like Water Gun or something? Oh, Super Psych. Yep. Well, time to get rid of, um, Comet Punch. And that leaves, um, Safeguard. Which we won't take. Not because it's a useless move, but because, you know... I like having the elemental punches on here. So we're not gonna make room for Safeguard. With that one, we're tossing on the pile. You know, just moving on. I'll take the money, though. I suppose I am missing out on a potential TM, though, but you know, whatever. Oh, you want a battle, too, huh? Well, I know Jasmine's not up to it at the moment, but, you know, I figured if I, you know, find out what the problem is, I can help out and get her in the mood, you know? Though, I still need to level up Heracross so I actually have an answer to her um, Steel Pokemon. That's really important, you know? Oh, Crychop? Oh, whatever. Even his best Crychop's not gonna do enough damage to matter here. After all, I'm a bug flying type. I resist fighting moves a lot. I don't really understand why bugs resist fighting moves. So it's pretty easy to squash them with your fists and stuff in real life, but you know, whatever. 
To each their own. I guess it doesn't have to technically make sense. Or maybe it's because, you know, you have the praying mantis and you got some fighting styles based off of bugs or something. Therefore, they're seen as, like, extreme martial artists. You know, beyond the pale of, you know, your regular fighting Pokemon. Okay, that's a stretch, I know, but it's, like, the only thing I can come up with. I don't understand why bugs resist fighting moves when they're so easy to squash with your, your average newspaper. Well, this time we're gonna go with an Ice Punch. Wow, three points of damage! Well, if he kept up at that rate, he might take me out after 20-some plus hits. <laughs> like, this battle's gonna really last that many turns, I mean, seriously. Most Pokémon battles are over in, like, what, two, three exchanges at tops? Pokémon battles usually don't last that long. Unless your opponent's stalling. And very few do. Uh -huh. There are people that like stalling as a strategy, but I'm not among them. Usually. <laughs> yeah, it's casting for air, alright. No, you really can't. Well, I'll work on that, though I still have to go catch a surfer. Because without one of those, it's going to be pretty hard to reach our destination, though, isn't it? Well, I suppose that'll do for this episode. Next time, we'll be making our way across the sea in order to reach our next destination. Well, at least we got a gym battle to look forward over there, right? Till next time, then. See ya.